honorable dignitaries, the most valued parents, my fellow colleagues and my students. I, Ms. Shilpa Sinha, on behalf of DWPS family, take immense joy to welcome you all to the opening session of the academic year 2223 at DWPS Company. To behold soldier of the school that claims our respect, DWPS for the And I extend my hearty welcome to the Parent Orientation 22 and 23. Four colors of uniform will be given to the students that students belong to that particular house. Whenever we are conducting any competitions, for example, right now, uh, I think all the parents might have received from 13th onwards, we are going to start prelims of literary week. Right, parents, everyone have seen the circulars. We already sent before vacation, after vacation, we have sent Please go through the WhatsApp groups once again. Again, we are going to send. Prelims are going to start from 13th of June onwards. So, the students who are participating, who are going to win that particular literary week, if they are belonging to that particular house, we will calculate all the winners throughout the academic session. At the end of the academic session, that house students who won more prizes will be announced as the best house and award will be given to the students and that particular house mentor. For one house, one mentor will be there. On the annual day, in front of 3000 crowd, students will be receiving best house award. We will sit. So, but here we don't leave the student. 100% participation is mandatory. Whatever we do, that will start from assemblies onwards. Wednesday assemblies are there with the special themes. We want each and every student to be part of that. So, emphasis on English speaking. Once they are into the campus, except nannies, even nannies also, they can talk basic English. Better don't run, no stop talking, don't fight. So, all these basic things they will tell. Otherwise, only language teachers will be speaking in their particular language. Other than that, no one will come down to Telugu language or their mother tongue to speak with the students. Only this thing we are doing to make the students to communicate fluently. This is the right age to inculcate all these things. If the parents are coming and talking to us in Telugu, it's fine. We can talk in Telugu, English, Hindi, whatever the language you are comfortable. I'm talking only about the students. Because many parents told we don't want to come to the events because we don't know how to talk in English. Language should not be barrier between school and the parents. Whatever language you are comfortable, please do come and participate and you can communicate in that particular language. We teach children to respect other genders. Here we treat boys and girls equally. If they are feeling that boys are feeling that girls, they are not up to the mark, no. We teach them both are equal. So that gender equality will be taught here. We have reduced the usage of paper. As everyone know that, you know, our school is a green school. So we we'll use less paper and we are working more on drives. That is the main reason why nowadays we are sending all the circulars in WhatsApp, not through hard copies. We believe in giving equal opportunity to all the students. So spell bee is the activity what we are conducting. I'm just giving a small example. Every uh, Wednesday is English spell bee. Every Thursday is Hindi is will be. So all the students will be giving equal opportunity to participate in whatever the activities if we are conducting in English or Hindi. Only the thing is the students should grab that particular attention or the opportunity to prove themselves that we are the best. Be involved and stay involved, yes. Do not criticize the teacher in front of your child. So you'll be coming from the office, you now student will be coming, my mama told today like this, papa, you will be frustrated. Please. Be patient with your parents. If a teacher did mistake also, don't show that frustration in front of the student. Then he will lose the interest and respect 
on the teacher and the school. If you have any concern, please take one appointment. So here coming to the appointment. So why we are asking to take you people appointment? If you are taking appointment, we will free ourselves and we will be waiting for you to talk to you, to listen to your concerns. If you are coming unexpectedly and if you want to meet the principal or the teachers, we will be having our busy schedule. You have to wait unless we are free. We don't want you to wait. One appointment will make our both lives very easy. So, if they come and complain anything, please take one appointment and come and discuss with the teacher. Ma'am, my child is chilling like that. Is it true or not? Then we will take a decision on that. Please don't criticize in front of the student. So whenever you are talking to the students, knowing about the school, then you are following thoroughly about the school. So that's what, whenever the student is coming and telling, don't take a student's word as granted. I will just give a small example quickly as I am running late. So uh, I think uh, Friday one student came and told me, Ma'am, my, my mama told me that if you are having any complaint, which is going to be chairman sir. So that is the uh, student version. As a principal, how I will believe? Mamas never will tell, go and meet chairman sir. If you have any complaint, how she will tell like that? You know, we don't believe. So we will tell, okay, she is exaggerating something. So please don't take child's version as granted. You try to do a little bit of groundwork to know the reality. That fees should be paid on time. So whatever we want to do, only by the fees only we can do. Many parents will be thinking, why these people are calling again and again for the fees? Admission counsellors are doing their duty, my dear parents. If you are paying fees on time, 15 days we are giving time. Within time, you are not going to get a call. Why I am referring this particular point? Many parents, they are not picking up the calls when an emergency, we are calling to... Recently on Friday, one boy got hurt in the ground. We are calling the parent to say that whether we need to take to the hospital or he will come. We want to find out that a few parents will be there where they will be having their personal pediatricians, they will take them. We don't know what decision. First, the prime, uh, you know, uh, our infirmary in charge, she attended that particular student. But what about next process? When we are calling, she, he is not attending because we are, he is thinking that we are calling for the fees. Please, whatever it might be, when a call is coming from the school trying to pick the call, please don't uh, ignore it. Why? Because not only for the fees, many things will be there where we want to convey you. If you have, if you, means, if you are not able to pay, you know, if it is getting delayed, please tell one point, when you are going to pay, that's all. Nothing to hide anything. So parents, thank you for, so much for your cooperation. Now, uh, Miss Lucy is going to take over to uh, inform you or to uh, tell you how the pedagogy methodologies will be there in the classroom. Now, first one, as I told you, lecture method, whereas the teacher comes to class and she or he will explain the concept in detail to the child. All the exercises, whatever back of the textbook of that particular concept will be explained in detail. Coming to the activity-based learning, the first thing will be the flipped classroom. Here, as I told you just now, when we are there in our school days, our teachers used to come and give a lecture and they used to give us the homework. Once it is done, the lesson is done. There, no, there will be no point of discussion anything. So here, this flipped classroom is a bridge between the traditional as well as the modern method. Where prior, the teacher will give the concept, the basic fundamental point to the child, to all the students and make the students to prepare and to explore the things before coming into the class for the next day. After that, the day they will explain and they will discuss the points with their friends in front of the teacher. This is how the discussion goes in the free. Hey, everybody, Babusa, can I have your hand? Good morning, Babusa. Good morning, welcome, ma'am. Please, you're free to walk. Just say hello to the person beside you. Okay, I see that uh, we're all very new to each other. Thank you so much, dear parents. Please be seated. A parent is a teacher at school. Do you believe? If you're listening to me, a parent 
is a teacher at school. All the parents are with me. A parent is teacher at school. Thank you so much, Shilpa ma'am. A teacher is a parent at school. If you all can just listen to me very carefully. A parent is a teacher at home. And a teacher is a parent at school. And you know who we are all running around? There is one interesting person. And the entire universe runs around this particular kid called the child. Child is the center of the universe. And we all are running towards it. We are all making efforts. A very good morning, respected principal ma'am, the entire family of the Delhi World Public School, and my dear teachers. I am Mrs. Eva Joseph, and I handle English for grade 9 and 10. It's such a privilege to stand here to talk about importance of language. Language plays a very important role. If I just go to uh, my my fellow colleague here, and uh, this is Monica Ma'am for everybody, and I say, Monica Ma'am, you look lovely today. Can you see my expression? You look lovely today. What happens? What happened to my face and to her? She just looked at me, she's like, this lady is saying lovely and she's giving a sarcastic face, huh? Language is a tool, it's a medium that expresses emotions, it expresses feelings, it expresses thoughts, and that is what Delhi World Public School demonstrates very freely. We have varied languages taught at our school. English is the core language, followed by Hindi and Telugu, the second language, and then we have Hindi, Telugu, French, and Sanskrit. These are the languages taught at our school. Close to learn. Every chapter in English, Hindi, Telugu have a particular theme. They focus on the theme. Just imagine the story is about emotion. The teacher expresses various kinds of emotion. If, uh, if the subject talks about bonding between family or friends, then the teacher comes up with an interesting activity to grab the attention of the students. Good morning, dear parents, respected principal ma'am, and my dear teachers, and my loving students. I, Ms. Madhuri, going to brief you about worksheets and corrections. Yes, I teach social studies for the grade 5 and 6. Coming to the worksheets, I think students, most of the parents who are here, I think we have not come across any time when we were studying about the worksheets. Um, and correct parents? Yes? Yes. I think we have not come across the worksheets any time. But in today's generation, that is the modern generation, what are worksheets? So when we talk about the worksheets, worksheets are the modern way of making children to learn. Thank you ma'am. Good morning ma'am and good morning teachers. A warm welcome to the session and uh, we really appreciate for your various uh, spending your valuable time with us and coming to the segment assessments a very important segment of student learning why why do we need to assess actually we have some boards like ib or cambridge curriculum where they say no assessment up to certain grade level but here at delhi world public school we follow cbse curriculum where we use the assessment to know about the child because as teachers, we are putting 100% effort in delivering the content. But how do we know that the child is learning? On the whole, it is finally our motto to know or for the all-round development of the student. So how do we come to know? So assessment is the best tool to know the child. And also it helps us to improve the strategies of teaching where Either the student is lacking with the understanding, lacking with the basic or application analysis. Like this, we have various things that we have to concentrate in the student. So coming to the pattern of assessment, we follow the 
assessment pattern given by the CBSC board, where in each term we have a form, two formative assessments. At the end of each term, we have summative assessment that is term one will be half yearly and term two that is nothing but annual exam. Along with that, we also be uh, conducting the internal assessments. As in where my colleagues have explained you various subject enrichment activities or model making, role plays, debates, etc. What all my colleagues have given you. So we will also be assessing based on that. And also we have various post-scholastic areas like dance, music, art and so on. Even we will be grading the students based on this. In critical thinking, analytical or research studies or source based. As you have seen samples in the worksheet also, source will be provided based on that. They have to do some work on and then they have to give the answer. Coming to the next 20% will be the objective wherein you will have once again, a very good point to all the parents present here, respected principal ma'am and my dear colleagues. Dear parents, apart from academics, special assemblies and activities are an integral part of a curriculum which focuses on the holistic development of the child. So, I am Mrs. Pallavi, chemistry teacher for grades 7 to 10, standing in front of you to brief you about special assemblies and activities. Now, before I start, I would like to ask you a question. What were your memories of the school assembly when you were in your school? Maybe? Prayer. Prayer. Okay. So, you might have had the most memorable of the experiences, but you might have had some alarming experiences too, right? The whistling sound of your PE teacher which alerted you and then you would then line up in your morning assembly. Yes? We remember all these and each assembly was really a learning for us, right? Every assembly was a learning for us and we do remember and cherish them. In the same way, our school assemblies are focused on improving social values and then help children participate in all the activities without any hesitation. And we at Delhi World Public School focus on each and every child and then see that each and every child gets a fair chance to participate in activities. Okay, now, what is the purpose of an all-school assembly? So, assembly is a place where students and teachers meet. It develops a feeling of school spirit, unity and belongingness among the students. And it is a pious way of starting the day with a prayer. And then, it also reinforces self-control and appropriate social behavior. And then, it instills values like social ethics and then it also instills above all self-discipline among students. So we at the Delhi World Public School are the second name for discipline. As you have seen, we instill all these values into our students and shape them into future young citizens. Now, what do we do to make our assemblies engaging, interesting, so the students look forward every week? So we have assemblies conducted every Wednesday, grade-wise. Okay. And then, what are the key elements of our assembly? We ensure that we plan and we devise assemblies which are engaging. We see that they are interactive, the students perform through dance or through a play, through a skit or they sing. So they take various forms of, act, of presenting the assembly okay and then most importantly we inculcate a thematic scheme in our assembly so apart from that we see that it is an engaging one and preparation is the ultimate key so our students put in a lot of efforts under the guidance of their teachers in practicing for the assembly because each assembly session is a, is a, is a valuable life lesson for the students and then it, it, it leaves an immemorable impact on the students. Thank you, ma'am. When your passion meets your work, your work becomes a home. A scintillating morning to one another present here. I, Ms. Sanisha, and I hand in physics for grades 7, 8, 9, and 10. I'm here to explain the co curricular activities and hobby classes that are conducted at Delhi World Public School, Kumpalli. 
I will study the co-curricular activities and academics. Both are two different streams, right? Is that not your parents? Do you agree with me? Yes. So, at the time, during 19th century, 18th century, we completely focused only on academics. But, in the present generation that we live in, along with the academics, activities also should go on hand in hand. Delhi World Public School always looks for the holistic development of students and co-curricular activities play a vital role in grooming a child. Our curriculum provides a rich variety of co-curricular activities which we consider not extra but an essential part of the child's education. These include music and dance which helps the students to overcome the stage fear and to improve coordination among them. Team games like football and basketball not only make them physically fit but also inculcate team spirit, leadership qualities and self -care. Good morning to my dear principal ma'am, student, teachers and my dear parents. Very good morning and once again I welcome to this orientation program. First of all, I would like to thank our principal ma'am for, for conducting, planning, organizing and making this orientation program very informative. Your leadership is our backbone and you will lead us in the path of success. Further, I would like to extend the three sincere gratitude to all the parents for supporting, encouraging and being present here today. Thank you to your parents for your rock solid support system and encouragement. Thank you to present here today to support your child's progress and work of the school. A continued partnership will ensure our children to learn, grow, progress and achieve their potential holistically. With a deep sense of appreciation, I would like to thank all our teachers who have been constantly upgrading themselves to meet the new challenges in the field of education and use modern techniques in the school's working process. They may put a lot of efforts to make each one a good student and a wonderful human being. I would like to thank all our proactive and dedicated admin staff who are present and who work behind the screen to make these events and to make this orientation program very successful. And I would also thank a great thanks and humble thanks to my support staff who worked throughout the way. Thank you everyone taking time to present here today. Have a great and wonderful weekend. Good morning once again. I know you're less scared to watch me. Um, well, dear parents, it's, I hope it had been an interesting event. This is feedback time. Okay, um, you can uh, just share your thought, your takeaways. So, you have to share your, your thoughts about today's event. Today, uh, my daughter uh, has got admission uh, this year, grade 5. Okay. This is my first uh, PTM in this school. Uh, yes, uh, the session was uh, full of information uh, and definitely uh, very useful uh, to new parents okay, to understand about uh, school's policies. Uh, different activities. Uh, 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 yes, I uh, thank uh, to all of you uh, to uh, organize this session. Yes, uh, but just uh, one uh, request. Actually, you know, you said the time in 9 to 10, okay. but yeah. we stressed one more hour. Absolutely. Though it has started 10 to 15 minutes late, but eventually we have finished at just a couple of hours. If you all are busy Absolutely. in our activities, because after this I have to uh, go to the <laughs> I don't know when I will reach home. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, well, dear parents, so would you like to share your thoughts about today's event? Thanks for offering such events because this is the first time I attend this program. And it is very really brief, uh, important event. So, since I have not seen the end of the eight, so 
almost you have got all the things. Thanks for attending uh, attend this seminar and uh, very much thanks to all the DWPS team for this Thank you. Thank you, sir. I hope it was informative. Yeah. Well, dear parent, uh, sir, would you like to share your thought about today's event? Thank you so much. Uh, and I could see the, uh, the efforts of the planning uh, behind this entire uh, event. Uh, thank you so much for that. And uh, we look forward to work closely with you and see how our, uh, uh, how our kids grow. Uh, and Absolutely. very much looking forward to that. Thanks again. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Well, ma'am, would you like to share your thoughts? Yeah, sure. Good, uh, good morning, everyone. I'm very old member to this school. Uh, I'm just uh, say only one word that school is doing more better and better every year. Uh, when it's time of the when, uh, when last two years we are uh, online and we are at home only. Uh, what I say is this school did very good at that moment also. Like not only studies, they did so many curricular activities online uh, because the, the, they don't uh, make students feel bored by studying only online. So I can only say that doing this school is doing better, better and better. Thank you for today's event giving more information. Thank you ma'am. Thank you so much. I hope it was really effective. Well yes sir, we like to share. <coughs> Firstly I will apologize myself and my family. Because we are late for 10 minutes and we appreciate to the principal map. So basically discipline is good for this uh, school. Initially, I was scared about the school because we have a job transfer and now we are comparing earlier school and this school and I got, I, uh, I think I take the right decision for this school for my child and I appreciate with, uh, with uh, every teacher, especially English ma'am and hobby ma'am and I think they will be definitely delivered to the child. Okay, whatever delivery is for the kids, definitely they would be delivered. And we appreciate to the principal ma'am and school kids. And we are thank you very much for this orientation program. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I think we are already on the run, sir. And we are towards it. We are working on it. Well, ma'am, to my sir, so we like to have a, have a word. Thank you, ma'am. The orientation program was wonderful. Thank you to all the DWPS team. My child Samiksha is in class 5 and the process of the school, the education system was very good. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks a lot. Well, the, well the, sir, good morning. Good morning. Sir, something uh, very, very important and informative takeaway from the orientation. The way you conduct the assessment is what I would say is really good. Uh, so, you know, we just shifted here uh, and I was a bit hesitant what will happen to her because my daughter is in class 8 now. But now after, uh, uh, say, a month, I'm like happy, yes. And uh, I would just like to point out one thing like you correctly said. Uh, that's about uh, the, uh, UC ma'am, my biology teacher. Uh, she's so happy and every day after the class she'll come and tell, you know what did ma'am said today? This, that. So I, I can see uh, a live example of what Amazing. you said now. So thank you. Thank you so much sir. That's thank really edifying. Thank you. Well then ma'am, good morning. Okay, thank you. Uh, any parent from here? Yes ma'am. Thank you so much. just walk forward and uh, just have a seat. Yeah. Yes, sir. No, As a parent, who believes first. Good morning, everyone. A warm welcome to our respected principal ma'am, lovely parents and teachers to the Parents Orientation Program at DWPS Home Time. First of all, I would like to appreciate all the parents for sparing their valuable time to attend this evening. We would like to thank all the parents 
for trusting us with the child's education and having faith in the work of DWPS. Our prime objective of conducting this orientation program is to bring to your knowledge the scholastic and post-scholastic activities that is designed by us for your child's holistic development. So that every parent is enlightened about the school's curriculum, which will make it easier for you to monitor your child's progress along with us. You will also get to know how our teachers meticulously work on the students to accelerate their learning. So without further ado, I would like to request Principal Ma'am to take you through the school policies. Start. I want to express my sincere apologies for half an hour late. We have given 11 o'clock as time slot, but the parents of first session are late. So session went late. That's the reason why every time we request parents to be on time. So if I start 9 o'clock, only 10 parents are there. So we have to wait till parents come. From next event onwards, we are not going to wait for anyone. On dot, we are going to start. So good, good morning parents. I extend my hearty welcome to one and all present here for the orientation program. Many new parents are there. I want to clarify about the school. Many parents, they question me, Mom, uh, surrounding your school, many schools are there, starting with the word Delhi, Delhi World School, Delhi School of Excellence, Delhi International School. I want to convey you, we are no way connected with any one of the school. No, we are not connected with that. Delhi World Public School is a school, group of schools linked up with Delhi World Foundation, which is a luminary started by, you know, deep sides of Delhi Public School. And our mentor is uh, Mr. Salman Kushid. Our chairperson is Mrs. Louis Kushid. So I want to tell you about the logo of our school. Right now, this is the logo which we are using. This logo depicts about our school. This is the same logo which was used by DPS school since 45 years. Just ponder yourself, my dear parents. 45 years legacy school logo. Can anyone give you like that? No. If you are belonging to their family, then only you will get that authority to use the logo. So this is the same logo right now we are using. Now you can understand how we are related to DPS schools. Coming to the school attendance. I know all parents are here. We started school from June 1st, one week over. Right, five days we successfully completed school last week completely. Out of 800 students, only 700 were there in the campus. 100 students still they are enjoying their vacation. And already we have sent a circular saying that next week onwards assessments are going to start. If a student is not present to the school regularly, they can't even understand what is happening in the school. First day he will be there, teacher will be starting the lesson. Tuesday and Wednesday they will be on to the leave. Thursday she will be closing the lesson. How a student can understand? So I request all the parents not to encourage students to take the leaves unnecessarily. If they are saying, I am not feeling well mama, please see, check thoroughly. If he is not well, please don't send. But if they are taking uh, lame excuses, please do not entertain such type of excuses one who will give our, you know, menu, this will be good for the students. We are working along with her so that final menu will be coming out. Weekly parent interaction is the program where if we feel that a student requires a special attention, yes, other students are doing good, but this student is little bit lagging where we need to push. So then we will call up. You will be getting a call. We call you to the school. Please don't hesitate to come to the school whenever we are calling. Because then only we will come to know what is your problem, what is the child problem, so that teachers can work along with the parents to make the student to excel. Please don't skip that process. Emphasis on English speaking. Once the student is into the campus, no one will be speaking into Telugu language. Only nannies will be speaking in Telugu. Even they can instruct the students basics 
You know, better don't run in the corridors, keep hands back, don't quarrel. All these things, basic things they will be telling. But more than that, no teacher will be speaking into Telugu language or their local or mother tongues. Students will be encouraged in the classroom. First class students or second class students, if they are not able to understand what teacher is delivering the content, then she will get down. Good afternoon, dear parents. I guess all are with me. If you are, please raise your hands. And kids, those who are here, you have to write a report on this orientation program and report to us on Monday. So please be attentive. So dear parents, I would like you all to be also a little alert because this is for your benefit throughout the year. Right, so today I'll be focusing on the pedagogical methods or the learning methods that we are going to use in our classrooms, especially for grade 1 to 4. It is going to be more of activity based. So they love to do activities. That is how they learn each and every concept. So we are trying our best to engage them in n number of activities so that they can learn the concepts very clearly. So to begin with, the first thing is the lecture method. I guess we all are aware and we all have gone through this lecture method in our school days also. So basically the teacher comes, she explains and then she goes. This is what the lecture method talks about. But apart from that, we also have flipped classroom. Here is an interesting part wherein the teacher becomes the student and the student becomes the mentor for his peers. A particular topic will be given one or two days in advance wherein they explore about that particular topic and then they come up with n number of ideas. And nowadays we cannot underestimate the children because they are stuck with mobiles 24-7. How many of you agree? Oh, so, right. so they explore about that particular topic and then they come up to the class with a number of reasons to explain that particular lesson. So that is about flipped classroom, dear parents. And coming to the next one, it is going to be activity based. So now here we perform different types of activities. When it comes to science, it can be in the form of experiments. So we all love experiments. So we inculcate the same habits so that the learning becomes easy by experiments. And the ex next one is about the exploration. Like I told you, the topics are given in advance. They explore about it in detail. And then comes the expression. After exploring, they come up here and they explore their thoughts in different ways. And coming to the next one, once the lesson is done, once the lesson is done, they are clear with the concept. If they are clear with the concept, then that is the next thing that they are going to do is a mind map. I guess in grade 2, grade 1, each and every parent is quite aware there is something called as graphical organizer. So where it talks about the entire lesson in bits and pieces. So mind map plays a major role wherein by just looking at that particular mind map or the graphical organizer, it gives a detailed explanation of that particular lesson. And coming to the next one, it is going to be the different activities. Sorry dear parents, we have very few photos. Kindly apologies. And these are certain photos which we have. The first one is pronoun pizza activity. The next one is math activity which was conducted for grade 4. And this is for grade 3 wherein they'll be knowing the importance of earth which was done on the earth day. And coming to the next one dear parents, it is about the inquire based learning. Coming to the inquire based learning, once the lesson is taught, once the lesson is taught, we will engage the students in n number of ways wherein they explore it even more in deeper ways. So when they explore it, they explain it much better. I guess grade 1 to 4 parents, uh, when the teacher is explaining something that is reflected to you after coming home. How many of you face that? 
If I explain skeletal system, the next day parents come up, yes, we understood. They are explaining us about different types of bone. When they understand, they elaborate about that particular topic in detail. After everything is done, we will do our evaluation. Based on that, we will understand whether the child has understood that particular lesson or not. If they did, dear parents, let me remind it to you again, we are here to reteach the lesson again. So, if they didn't understand, if they are not able to communicate with the teacher also, you can just write a small note in the almanac or a gentle reminder to that particular teacher saying that now can you please explain this one to concept again because my child didn't understand this topic. So we are going to teach that particular concept till they understand again and again. Coming to the next one, art integration. According to the CBSC, we are supposed to use Merchants are an effective tool of learning to baby students to ensure active learning. Actually, we create worksheets on competency-based learning. So, we focus on more on students-centered learning approach. How they will do on their ability at their own space. We create worksheets to ensure holistic learning these subjects and it includes concepts and questions. Worksheets are prepared for each lesson and also be verified. After the completion of worksheets in the class, subject teacher or the particular respective teacher will be cross-checked the worksheets and certain points will be taken into consideration like no grammatical error, appropriate sentence structure, no diction errors. Once it is corrected, we will be pasted in the respective notebook. Now, what is the use of worksheet? Worksheet. Yes. Worksheet is the effective tool to test the learning outcomes. It identifies the children's weakness also. It promotes the interest level of the students and it uh, identifies key gaps in the learning process. And it also raises interest level of the students and tracks the progress of the students. It is not only for the students. As a teacher, we will understand whether the, we deliver the concepts clearly or not. Now, coming to homework. Homework is assigned to the children by the class teacher or the subject teacher to carry it out during non-school hours. Now, coming to homework, some children will refuse to do the homeworks, right? It will be a nightly struggle for the parents to do, make them to do the homework. I'll explain later. Uh, homework gives students another opportunity to review the class material. And also, it teaches students how to be responsible in their educational process. Yes, homeworks can be either reading or writing and it will be sent in the WhatsApp group, in the parent group and also will be mentioned in the almanac. Dear parents, please check your awards almanac regularly and duly sign it. And to make it simple, we follow homework pattern daily basis for the better learning. Monday, Math, English and Science. Tuesday, Math, Social and Second Language. Wednesday, Math, Second Language, English. Thursday, Math, Science and Second Language. Friday, Math, Social and Second Language. Parents, if you can see, Math is, we are doing regular basis because for the consistent practice and logical reasoning. Okay? In here, 1 and 2, uh, instead of social, we will be doing EVS. Homework makes a critical contribution for memory rehearsal. Once the teacher delivers... Language is a tool which encourages the process of human development. A child doesn't know any of the language at birth. But eventually, he starts recognizing, understanding most of the things later. LSRW skills. LSRW skills, as we all know, these 
these are the four important skills that we yes. So these are listening, speaking, reading and writing. These are the four skills which a student require to express and share their experience, knowledge, thoughts in an effective manner. Without the skills, they will be lagging behind. So it's language plays an important role in everybody's life. Parents, you will agree with me that uh, activities play a very important role in a student's life. Do you agree with me? Say yes. Yes. And students really enjoy it. So activity play a very important role in a student's life, be it in the classroom or outside the classroom. They not only make the learning fun, but also enhance the learning process. Do you agree with me? Say yes. Okay. I will be talking here about what are the co-curricular activities, role of co-curricular activities, and 12 essential skills and values which students will develop with help of co-curricular activities. And what are the list of co-curricular activities which we have in our school, the WPS company. So I will begin with explaining a little bit about co-curricular activities. Along with the curriculum, co-curricular activities are taken, which makes students tomorrow ready. Do you want to make your child tomorrow ready? Yes? Say yes. Yes, I cannot hear you all. Yes. Okay. So, co-curricular activities make students tomorrow ready by making them ready for the art of living, by inculcating the togetherness spirit, by making them a leader, leader for tomorrow. Now, what are the roles, role of co-curricular activities? Well, co-curricular activities make students uh, overall personality change. They develop communication skills, expression skills, they will be a leader for tomorrow. They can communicate through their expression and technology, stage ready for tomorrow. Not only they are stage ready, but co-curricular activities also play a very important role in their physical health and mental health. And students also learn various moral and ethical values through co-curricular activities. It is said that feeling of gratitude is one of the noblest feelings and its expression is one of the noblest act. A very good afternoon to our respected principal now, Dr. N. Jaffi Reddy, all my dear parents and all my dear teachers. On behalf of Delhi World Public School, hopefully, I, I, I feel gratitude, I feel honored to express this gratitude. Firstly, I would like to thank our principal ma'am for planning, arranging and making this meeting successful. And all the parents, thanks a lot for sparing your valuable time. It really shows that you are in a run to get the best for your child. Finally, I would like to thank all my teaching, non-teaching staff and all the known and unknown hands who have contributed for this successful meeting. Once again, Ashwita Rani, thanks a lot for your participation. Thank you. Dear parents, after every event, feedback plays a major role. Now I would like to know your feedback about this orientation. Uh, Ma'am, would you like to say something? Yeah, thanks for giving me this opportunity to give feedback. <laughs> and uh, I would uh, uh, like to say that when I came, this, uh, came for this orientation program, more than what is required for my child, I myself learned a lot of things, especially when uh, what kind of like, language wise, what is taught. So because when, when I'm like working at corporate office, I am facing all this everyday basis and these are all very much like useful. I'm sure my daughter is going to get best whatever she is like by learning from this school. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you ma'am. Uh, Uttas ma'am. This parent orientation program is very helpful. Uh, we got the clarity now. What are the assessments are will be conducted? And uh, thanks, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Would you like to talk? Good afternoon, everyone. I really appreciate uh, school for conducting the various cultural activities, assessments, and the daily basis to homeworks and help the child to get the knowledge of the content what they are teaching in the school with the worksheets, workbook and the daily basis. Thank you. 
Thank you, ma'am. Uh, will the parent, would anyone would like to talk about the feedback, about the orientation program? Ma'am, how about you? I'm coming. Thank you.